Spike Harlow and Dan Moretz in the lightweight division. A short notice fight inside of Bellos where the one that's taking the fight on short notice is it going to be Spike Carlo coming in on about pretty much exactly one week. So notice 28 years old, a little bit younger, um, a lot less in terms of height and in terms of reach, but he's going to be younger, he's going to be faster, he's going to be more powerful, more explosive. The cardio is not really there. The experience isn't on the side as well. So if Dan Moretta is going to win the fight, it's going to be mainly like um, him on the back foot, just kind of put it out the jab, one, two, and kick it at range. He's got very good body kicks, very good high kicks. Just needs to play the kickboxing game at range. Use that height, use that reach, and use that to get a decision. He needs to stay away from the power and the explosiveness of Spike Carlo because he's always going to go out there, put on the pressure, and look for those huge shots. I mean, he wants out there... Um, um, took down Bossomero, Dagobador, submitted him, uh, Armbar submitted Gil Guardardo, then he goes out there and starches JJ Ambrose, so um, I think a similar thing could definitely happen here. I would not be surprised if it does, um, but there's two options. Dan Moret at range on the back foot, jabbing a 1-2 into a decision, or Spike Harlow pressuring the heck out of Dan Moret and, and then knocking him out in the first or second round. But there's another thing we really have to consider. It's going to be the cardio of Spike Harlow in that second and third round. I don't know how long it's going to it's gonna last in the fight. I know he can do uh, enough to win the first round and win the second round, but will he be able to survive um, that third and final round and actually end up winning the fight? I don't know. That's why it is a very close fight. It is also short notice, so that increases the chance that his cardio does go downhill. So the tough one to predict, but I'm going to go the underdog uh, as of right now. I mean, not necessarily an underdog, but the guy coming in on short notice, which is going to be Spike Carlil, more explosive, he's fast. He's more powerful, um, and I think he, he keeps the cardio alive long enough to win the first and second round and win the fight by a decision right there. A very good fight in the lightweight division.